One of the things customers love about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is their ability to control the cloud resources. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Zero Console Access, one of the newest capabilities that we've added that gives you that control and the ability to troubleshoot instances that are having issues. I especially hear this from enterprise customers, where on premises, they have the ability to simply plug a monitor and a keyboard to an instance where they're having issues and make changes to the operating system or boot configurations as needed. Serial Console Access offers you just that. It offers a virtual crash cart, which replicates being physically present at the console of your server. This is critical for a number of use cases. For instance, you may want to import a custom image that's having issues booting, or you may have misconfigured your file system settings to inadvertently block SSH access. Let's consider an example. I have here an Oracle Linux 7 VM, where the file system table has been misconfigured, causing the operating system to boot in read-only mode. Since the OS is read-only, the host SSH daemon isn't able to update the public keys appropriately, causing issues with SSH connectivity. So if I try an SSH into my host, I actually get an error message. Let's see how you can use the serial console capability to recover your instance in this state. Once you navigate into the Instance Details page, you'll now see a new resource called Serial Console Connections. Once I click on that, I can actually create a new Serial Console connection. I simply need to provide my SSH keys. And hit Create Serial Console Connection. That immediately creates the Serial Console connection for me. And once that's created, I can copy the connection string from right here. So by clicking the connection string information tab, I can simply copy that over and enable SSH connectivity into the serial console. I can simply paste that into my terminal window and hit enter, type in my passcode, and that establishes serial console connectivity into my host. Now that we have the SSH connectivity established, we need to reboot our host. So we can simply click on the reboot button in the console and hit OK, and then navigate to the console. And you can start seeing the, the messages flowing. You need to be careful to select any of the arrow keys to break into the boot configuration. Now you can simply select the E button to break into the configuration file and navigate to the end of the file, where we will specify the bash init. So I can simply type in init equals backslash bin backslash bash and hit control X. When the boot finishes, you will see a bash command prompt line. Now that we have the SSH connectivity established, we can simply reboot our instance by going to the console and hitting reboot. If you navigate over to our serial console access, you will start seeing the boot settings. Eventually, the Grub Boot menu will appear. It will only be active for, for a few seconds to make sure you press the arrow keys to break into it. You can then select the appropriate setting and hit E to edit. You can scroll to the end of the file and change the configuration to, to boot in bash. I'll simply type in init is equal bin bash. and hit Control X to proceed. When the boot finishes, you should see a bash command prompt line. Your root file system is mounted as read-only now, so you need to remount it as read-write. You can simply type in this command and hit Enter. Now we're ready to start making changes to the file system. Let's check the current configuration in our fstat file. So you can see here that my root file system is actually mounted as read-only, and we need to change that. So let's edit the fstab file, and remove the read-only settings. Once this is saved, we can actually go in and reboot our instance. There, I just showed you how you can use Serial Console Access to debug your compute instances. For more information on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute, click on the link in the description below.